Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome to the first of what used to be a very small series I wanted to do to celebrate Halloween. However, multiple technical issues decided to step in and say, nah, we're not going to let you do this. But anyways, welcome to Monster Party, day one of the little weekend series I decided to do, and possibly one of my favorite NES games. It's weird. Like, super weird. Like, oh my god, is this game weird, but it's kind of charming in its weird way. But rather than just talk about it, I'm going to show you it and talk about it. See, that's two things at once. Mark was walking home from a ball game. Apparently, it played to the 25th ending because it is pitch black outside. He looked up and saw a bright star. While he stared at it, the star got bigger and bigger. The beauty of the star made his eyes... Moist. It, Mark, you doing okay? Your, your eyes kind of look like you you got hit with the anime. Are you okay, buddy? Mark, Mark. Oh well. So he didn't notice that the star fell and landed right in front of him. It wasn't a star, but a monster. Mark quickly asked. Who are you? I'm Bert. I'm trying to give this guy like the, the him like the smooth like the smoothest voice I can come up with. What's up? I'm looking for help. Evil monsters are out of control. In my world, I am shattering this performance all to hell. Come and help me. I'm afraid to fight the evil monsters. Don't worry. With your weapon, you'll be able to destroy them easily. Nice that it came a whole line of text just to that period. This isn't a weapon. It's a bat, which can be used as a bludgeoning weapon. I don't know why I didn't say this is a weapon. Bat? Batter! Anything is okay. Anywho, let's go! Bert grabbed Mark's hand and flew away. What's your name? Well, wait. What's your name? Mark. Mark? My planet is dangerous. So, we must act together. How? Like this. Then they fused it the together. Apparently we got like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure thing going on right here. Like Bert's apparently going to become Mark Stand. Like, I kind of want to see like someone do like an art thing of like, give give like this scene right here or this game and just give it like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure kind of feel to it. Oh my god, epilep epileptic people. I am so sorry for your eyes. Avert them. Avert them. This is how Mark's adventure began. Yeah, just look at that kid-friendly background. Round one, start! Ed, welcome to masterful, masterful gameplay. Again, it, the gameplay is really simplistic, of course, because it's like a two-button... Well, I guess three if you count the D-pad as buttons, but I technically don't. But it's a two-button game. You jump, you s attack with B to swing your bat, uh, you can lay on the floor, and apparently there's also like a crawling thing, but I've never been able to figure out how to do it. I like, I pressed every button, I don't know what to do. If anyone knows like how, how to like inch your way across the ground, then please feel free to just leave in the comments. But basically the gist of this game is, well, we got these little doors right here, and inside each of the well, not each of the doors, some of them are empty, but basically there's a boss in these doors, you gotta fight the boss, and get like a key from beating all the bosses. The boss bosses vary from like three to four to two to one level that only has one boss. But the bosses are creative, except for the first boss. Hello, baby! He's a mean purple mother from outer space and he makes me mad. Because this guy is an annoyance. Basically, to attack him, you gotta beat those balls back into his face and... Wow, that was a really poor choice of words. That is truly the terrifying thing about this game. It, well, well, this video but would be my horrible, horrible wording. 
but yeah, you gotta hit, shoot 20 balls back in the space. I actually counted, and it, it's tedious. It, really tedious. Like, holy crap, is this game tedious. Well, not this game, this boss. I don't like this boss. In fact, this boss, pretty much First World has the worst bosses in the game, but they get better as the game progresses, if you can actually get past it, because... Oh boy, for NES standards, this is kind of hard. Not Silver Surfer hard, but still, yeah, it's still got a good decent amount of challenge. Alright, I think that was, that's number 10, so I just gotta hit 10 more back at him. So, how's everyone's Halloween weekend been going, or I guess you could say Halloween? Uh, I feel like I've just made something for the Hallmark Channel. Eh, if you've been following me on Twitter, then you've realized that my weekend is going yeah, relatively kind of sort of bad. Like, I've been doing my best to stay positive, but with the recent things that have happened with, you know, the whole, like, 360s hard drive deciding to go on me. Uh, the fact that I lost New Vegas, so it's going to take me even longer because I kind of wanted to have that project finished by... February, but it looks like I'm gonna have to push it back to March or hell, even April, because I gotta get a new copy. I gotta, since I lost everything on the hard drive, I gotta go back to from where I, I can't get back to where I left off. I think I have like a cloud data save from that. I don't know if it's on the same profile or not, but I'm gonna have to, you know, go check. If I don't, then I'm just gonna have to start back from square one and pretty much play it exactly how the LP's gone. So it may take a while, but I guarantee you that New Vegas will come back. I will have probably one or two side projects going on in between the New Vegas stuff until, like, I can get the whole, like, kerfuffle sorted out. Oh, God. And apparently we just went Enter by Nightmares, ladies and gentlemen. And apparently there's a party going on right here. I don't know if this is what would be considered a monster party, but it's definitely a party. Now, the thing I want to emphasize so much right now, before we get to boss number... Oh, shit, did I miss the boss? Yeah, I missed boss two. Damn it. Okay, grab a question mark, become a dragon. All right, usually just take a pills and be the dragon. Uh, I gotta go back this way because I... In my long-winded explanation as to why the hell New Vegas is taking, like, forever and a day to, t to come back, we have to stop by and see this guy, but unfortunately, he died on us. I always kind of figured like this thing was like, it's it's supposed to be like a l lizard dragon thing that's dead on its side. That there's his mouth, there's his leg, and looks like something like gutted him from underneath. I always felt that was like a burger with like limbs sticking out of it. Like you could totally see it, like burger dragon. And wow, I'm really ranking on with the health. If I can actually do this in one run, that would be beautiful. I've had around, I want to say, this is probably take number six. Oh god, that's terrifying. Uh, this is take number six with this video in particular. Well, this game in particular, because whereas I wanted to have this series start out in the beginning of the week, back on Monday, uh, I tried three times the, the weekend before to get this video out, but every single time an issue hit me. So I decided, all right, maybe I can just do it for the weekend and four and five. It was like three times for the first day and to try for day one. And then like the rest of the day was the rest of the week. It kind of like demoralized me into wanting to continue this, but I decided to try and do it for uh, the weekend. But then like issue number four and five came up. So this is take number six and hopefully this actually goes well. And if you're actually seeing this video, then you already know the answer, but Hey, we got the key. Now all we got to do is get out and oh, man, they give you like a little breathing room in some places in this game because like enemies will pop up all over the place. I think there's actually been an AGDQ or if not, there should be of this game because I'm sure this is probably a game that can be easily speed run. Not by me by all standards, but you know, something by someone oh god get out of the death water and watch out for zombie hands that's actually the only time you actually ever see them is like right here because they never appear in the rest of the game it's kind of sad but whatever uh we should be getting close to the end of the level or the round as the game would like to masterfully put it actually i'm right it's right there very very good 
get a little bit of health for our troubles. Here's our password if I ever want to continue, but if I do die, don't worry. I have an alternate solution to this. And yay, level two is a sewer level because those always go well in games, don't they? And I completely messed up on the level. I keep forgetting that's kind of like a bit beginner's trap, but whatever. Let's just avoid the sewer blood and the fish face on legs. And the wall vampire, okay. I believe the first boss is up here, so we're gonna go and take care of fish face over here and then we're gonna go take on the first boss of area two let's mix it up mix it up you say what, is mixing it up like shooting like these eels at me what the hell he's like medusa right here is like the only way you're supposed to hurt it is you have to hit the thing back at it but it's kind of weird how the how you have to like get it because they, she sh sometimes shoots at an angle, sometimes just like drops them right down in front of her, and then you they slide across the floor. Like right there, like see, they're like I'm always gonna be guaranteed to get hit. Come on, come on, come quats, and I died. Well, you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. When in doubt. Cheated out, and the, the, I like this like happy-go-lucky music while we see three de desecrated corpses like melting into blood and all that stuff. This game is weird, if I haven't said that enough. But a hey, back in round two, this time full score, full life, gonna go through this Rambo style and kill everything in our path, mostly everything. Yes, a lot you could say. Oh, TBG, you're a cheater. Uh, you know what? This game's hard, and I actually want to show off more than just, like, the first level and the first boss of level 2, so... Neener, 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 can't touch my wiener. Besides, as much as I love this game, it, it, it does get kind of bullshitty with, like, some of the later levels, like... One of the bo the boss of like the last level is not like the final boss of the game is like the first boss you fight is probably one of the most bullshitty things ever put into this game. I I'm gonna say if any of you who played it and know the boss I'm talking about, then you you wouldn't fault me for doing this. Like already, even though it gives me max lives and kind of like goes overboard with it, I'm still taking a little bit of damage. But hey, I got a little bit back from defeating Medusa, so that's good. Because I actually do want to show off more than just, like, the very beginning of the game. That's just why I decided to, you know, cheat. But I'm probably just going to, like, do it till either A, I beat the game, or B, I just get myself killed the second time. Because as much as I would like to beat this game in one run, which I actually did the first try, because it was actually the first, like, successful gameplay, but not the successful recording... <sighs> Life just throws me curveballs every now and then, and I hate it, but yeah, you just gotta pick yourself up and just keep doing what you do. Just shoot our dragon lasers at the purple alligator, or crocodile if you want to be correct, and the, apparently the egg things from aliens? Okay. Uh, if memory serves me right, that's actually just a trap, and that's just there to waste your time because there is no boss up there, yeah. Come on. There we go. Now, you can actually kill this in one hit if I can get the timing correctly. There we go. Just shoot a projectile. Usually, anything that shoots a projectile at you, if you knock it back into them, it kills them instantly. Otherwise, they have, like, a, a crap ton of health. Second boss is actually right there, I remember correctly. I forget what the second boss is, though. It's been a while since I've uh, been back to this game. I think the second boss is... The spider? Nope, it's the weird one. It's... Look out, baby! It's... Here I come. It's... Shrimp. 
truly the most terrifying of all the Hollywood monsters. Cholesterol and a high heart blood pressure. That's truly the most terrifying thing ever brought to us on this Halloween Eve. And don't ask me why the machine from the fly is in the background. I, I, I have no answer for that. This, this is just too surreal and too weird. And now, now onion rings are attacking me. I hate onion rings. In this game and in real life. Never been a big onion fan. Come on. Come on. Let me put my bat in your ring. Yeah, I think I need some ointment for that because I was really stretchy. And now shish kebabs! Truly! The monster of the... I guess, like... I don't know. I wouldn't say it's like... This is probably... You've heard the Bronze Age of Monsters, the Silver Age of Monsters, and the Gold Age of Monsters. Well, this is the Grease Age of Monsters. I don't know, maybe it's a Japanese thing. Like, deep fried stuff is like... I don't know, like, truly terrifying to them. And, wow, I took... I took a lot of damage from something that should not have hurt me that much. Because it's actually an easy bot. Bye, fish! That was kind of funny. Thank you for the health. If I can actually get some more health. Fish, do you have any health for me? No, you just have pain. Seedling uh, blood. The worst kind of blood. Uh, of course. You're giving me no room to work with, game... They'll take that, ceiling blood! Bubbles! Come on. Oh, come on! And I believe last boss is right there. Usually, if there's like an obstacle in the way I found for the sewer, uh, that leads to the boss. And apparently, there's also fossils down here. Don't ask me why! Fish, go away! Egg. Egg. Come on, egg. Come on, egg. Come on, eggy. Ow. I want to say eggy poo. Come on. Thank you. Nope, no boss. This was a trick. Like, again, I've said that it's been a while since I've gotten th this far. Come on. Egg. Thank you. I don't even... Sometimes the question marks give you points, sometimes they give you health, or sometimes they don't do anything. It's kind of weird. I guess it's like a randomizer. That's the only, like, logical explanation I could think of for it. Well, I got myself in a weird situation! I'm surprised I managed to get through that without getting hit. Alright, fish comes right up to the edge of that sewer pipe, so I'm just gonna stand here, beat the ever-living crap out of it. I'm sure the boss is right up there, and I'm a, just a complete and total idiot. Come on. Dealing with you is easier than dealing with the mess that's down there. Unfortunately, I... Actually, you know what? I probably could have taken care of it, just like shooting the tails back at the fish and the gator. Thank God that thing doesn't like shoot diagonally. Time to do some damage. Okay, I I get the well thing and like the wisps around it is supposed to be like a Japanese like myth, like Japanese like monster mythology and all that stuff. Why the hell is it shooting plates at me? If someone who's like very versed in Japanese like folklore, mythology, or supernatural stuff, can, please tell me why I'm being shot with plates. Come on, I must cut the strap to the well. There we go. Wow, my ass has thoroughly been kicked. Okay, going down. You have anything for me? 
No, you don't. I do know I'll be getting some health if I can just get to the end of the sewers. Shouldn't be that far. I think it's right down there. Yep, there it is. Sewer pipe means the exit. And I got the key, so we're ready to go. Can't wait for the bubble to be shot out. We are done. Round two complete. Thank you for that health. I really needed it. And, wow, this game is a troll. Now, welcome to... I kind of like the... This is probably my favorite level in the entire game. Mostly because I love the music of this area, and I love some of the enemy designs for here. Like, for example, like... Rocks, stalagmites, stalactites. Uh, what else? Uh, a bobblehead skeleton over there. Actually, do you have any help, help I could take from you? Because going into the spots, I know it's going to be a pain in the ass. Come on, come on, cough up your bobblehead skeleton goodies. I know you have goodies. You had a pill. Take the pill, be the dragon. You're not chasing the dragon, you are the dragon. And of course, I was completely and totally mistaken. My fault, and... Ah, uh, yes, my favorite enemy in the game. One of the most adorable vampires you'll ever see in your life. If I can actually see this guy yet. There he is, look at him. He's like... Look at him, look at him, look at him go. He's so adorable. I want a plushie of this thing. It's like... Move it! Hello, Minotaur. You seem to be recolored from back when I saw you on the title screen. Or maybe that's just the, my view, but I swear to God. Eh, maybe it is my view, because what from my point of view, it's like green. Because I'm using like different forms of cables to like present this and present the recordings. kind of like a new like technique I'm trying out. Thank you, Bobblehead Skeleton, for just teleporting right into my face. Come on. Rocks. I'm getting sick of your shit. My legs are asleep. Oh, this poor mummy. Here, I'll wake him up for you. I'll wake him up with my nose lasers. Well, are you, they awake now? Also, I want to give this Sphinx a hug. Look at him. Look at how depressed he is. I want to look at the depressed face. I want to give it a hug. Eh, eh, eh. That was the closest thing to a hug I could give you. Oh yes, the weirdest enemy in the okay, second weirdest enemy in the game. If you think they're bats, they're really umbrellas. I don't know. It's creative. I guess? And it's definitely like an interesting enemy design, but I I don't get it. Maybe it's a Japanese thing. Now, as much as I love this level, I absolutely hate one of these doors. Because you gotta go through a gauntlet. And look at the vampires, look at the vampires. Uh, basically, you gotta go through a gauntlet of those like umbrella bats. And it just leads to a an empty room. It's basically like a first-timer's trap in this game. And I'm not ashamed to say I fell for it multiple times because I'm an idiot. Like that that door right there. Fuck that door. Fuck that door in particular because that is the trap. And I hate that door so much because you got to deal with these things. And they can go through the walls. You can't. I wish I had my pills right now. Oh shit. Nope. Nope. Now turn around. You foolish fool. And we got adorable vampire again. Seriously, I want to plush you that thing. It's adorable. Eh, there's my pills. Ah, finally got my fix again. Oh, screw you, skeleton. And I'll suck all your blood. Screw you, spider. I don't have any blood. I'm a dragon. Screw 
need you and your brother at the last level, at the second to last level of this game. Do you have anything? Oh, screw you too, skeleton. Thankfully, I'll take that health. The fact that I'll go back and see if that bat reappears so I can take more health from it. Nope, figured not. Ouch. Uh-oh. I probably shouldn't have been dicking around with that bat. Uh, nope! Aha! I have escaped! Give me that sweet health back! I'm probably gonna die in this area. Oh, that bit, we're in the tomb. I could have sworn that uh, we had to... The next one was the river, but nah, I must have been mistaken. I think that's the next level. Now these things, I have no idea what they are. It's just like moving rocks, but you take damage from them. Also scorpions. Why? Why? This is New Vegas all over again. Not the scorpions. And snakes. But snakes are fine. They're not that really much of a trouble. And as soon as I, and as soon as I said that I'm going to be taking damage from them. Like right now! Empty! What a very cool looking empty room might I add. And mummified alligators! Or crocodiles, I guess, because we're in Egypt now for some reason. Or, well, alien Egypt. And just go through it. It is, like, really context sensitive of having to get through these things without getting hit. Play baseball with the scorpion. Gotta play baseball with the scorpion. Come on. A little closer. There we go. Uh oh. I do like, like, you hit a low sin. Don't go away. Thank you. You hit a low sin and, like, you bonk your head on it and he has, like, a little animation for it. I, I like it. It's the little things in games that I always do enjoy. Okay, I think first boss is here. I am a slowpoke. I also shoot swords out of my dick. Like I said, this game this game is weird. Like I th I think I've taken one too many pills. Come on, come on! I know you're about to die, or I'm about to die. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna. Do one more try and then we're gonna end it off. And you know what? That part starts with me kicking your ass. So this is gonna be last try. Full health restore. Full like score, but who really cares about the score if it's not an arcade game? And we're gonna go. We're gonna kick some ass. We're gonna take some more drugs and we're gonna become some more mother trucking dragons. Take that snake. Now, you might think, oh, that, oh no, did you just skip it on a boss? That, that's another beginner's trap. It, it's nothing because what they wouldn't have like a drop off point right here if there was like no way to get back up. So there's no boss down there. Don't worry. I've taken care of it. I've beaten this game before. I know where I'm going. And as soon as I do that, I. I don't remember if, like, the next level is, like, the one I'm thinking of, because if so, I'm gonna be go having no idea where I'm going. And apparently, I don't even know where my bosses are going, either. Apparently, these things are Im immortal. That's what I'm taking from it. Face the music! Spooky Rock Session! Well, thank you, I do like the music for this boss fight. Spooky Rock Session is now no more! Alright, only one more boss to go and we are out of here. Thank god I managed to get flutter myself up there before I had to transform back, but of course I'm pretty sure the boss is down there. Watch! Watch my luck that the boss door is actually down there. 
Well, if anything, I'm a dragon again, so that's a good alternative? Or maybe the boss door is right here. Nope! Remember it being like someplace low? I can't remember which door it was. This one, I believe. Nope, apparently not. I'm an idiot. Kill the gator, crocodile, whatever it is. I really don't care. It's dead anyways. And that's... Oh, no. <sighs> I might get to go back and hunt for the boss. Went through all the doors. I have to become a, a dragon again. I had to fly back through there. Was that actually the boss door? And I was just a complete and total idiot when it came to that? Watch that be the truth. All right. Race my way back there, and hopefully I can get back to that drop-off point before I revert back to my crappy human form. Just tank it. Just tank it! Empty. Just wanted to make sure, in case I completely, like, had a memory lapse and didn't go into that door for some reason. Take some more drugs, be the dragon, fly up there, and I, if I swear to God, I'm going to hurt someone if that was actually the boss and I was just a complete and total idiot who forgot that the boss was actually down there. I want to be a dragon when I get in there. God damn it, this was the boss. I'm an idiot. Alright, time to hurt someone. And what a better thing to hurt than a cat on Halloween. An absolutely terrifying cat shooting gremlins at me for some reason. I don't know why it's weird. Ugh, there's any uh, sound effects. So nostalgic. Come on, taste my gremlins! Or, or taste your gremlins I'm sending back at you! Come on, get me at a good angle. Also, poke your head up when I'm smacking your gremlins back at you. Screw it! Tank it! Actually, I wonder. Nope, yeah, he actually shoots both ways. That's cool. There's no cheese for this boss, but now I'm gonna see you back at the door because screw all this backtracking. Alright, screw this place, I'm going home. Or at least some place that's not here. Okay, yeah, I'm just right, this is the water level. And now that we've gotten to stage 5 or stage 4, stage 6 or whatever, we now can finally shoot two things at once. Let's get going. Oh my god. It's a shark! It's a shark! It's a really tiny shark. Empty! Nothing in here! Was I climbing on something? That was weird. Or maybe it was just a sprite glitch. If I remember right, there's nothing I can do with these snakes unless I I'm bird because these guys have way too much health, so these are more like platforming challenges, and I don't have to attack them, but they do sometimes give up hearts. And also bonefish! I hate Bonefish. I also hate the fact that I don't have any place to go. There's two doors and no boss fights already. Also, why is water hurting me? Like, I can understand, like, the purple stuff back in Stage 1 hurting me. Because, like, usually, like, when it's, like, a different color, it usually means, like, it's dangerous. But this is just water. Watch my dance. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's boring. Do a different dance. Come on. Stop falling to pieces. Come on. I know you're zombies, but you you can be more built with than this. All right, fine. It's actually kind of a, a boss mechanic I do like is the fact that we actually do have to watch the little dance, and this is the easiest boss in the game. Well. I guess technically sorry I'm dead's the easiest boss in the game, but still, I like this boss where it's like little aesthetic. 
Uh, they do change the things up in the in the in the later levels of the game and change how, how some of the bosses play out, and I like it. But it's joining on the dance. I call this doing the face smash. It's where you morph your body into a fish, to that of a fish, and start smashing your face into the wall. And apparently, that question mark gave me the power to be bird again. All right. Screwed. If it means I don't have to do this platforming right here, I'll go for it. Also, screw you, Bonefish. Catch my javelins. Oh my god, Optimus Prime, what did they do to you? He just never was right since the Michael Bay remakes of his of his stuff. And also, apparently, he now has the face uh, that of a coconut. And now he is apparently dead. Poor Optimus. Well, at least he's now optimistic about his eventual death. I did him a service. You could say puns are not a service, but that was a service in my books. Well, I'm, uh, I'm shocked and appalled that I... Well, why am I appalled at it? I'm surprised that I took no damage from that. The, that shark had me dead to rights. Well, all we have to do now is get to the end. Hate you, Bonefish. Go away. Go away. I always feel like the serpents here are, like, rocking out to this awesome tune. Whoop. Now, I know I can skip that because I already have the key, so I can leave anytime I want, which is right now I just got to get to the end. And, of course, if the shark has anything to say about it, which he no longer does. Alright, this might be a bit more of a challenge. Oop, oop, nope! Out, damn it. Screw you, Bonefish, give me some health. Damn you, Bonefish, why don't you give me health? Eh, whatever. We're at the end, so... Exit door, give me health! Could have given me a little bit more, but nah, bakers can't be choosers. Oh great, it's the haunted house level, I hate this level so much. Why? Because this whole place. Now, good thing about this, about this moron, if you know what you're doing, this is the shortest level in the game. If you don't know what you're doing, this can be the longest level in the game. But the good thing is, there's only one boss that we have to fight. Bad news is, you have to go through a bunch of doors and also walking pants. Uh, no, I want to go further. Also, the walls are attacking me. I hate the walls because... It's kind of hard to predict, like, where they shoot from. Like, if at times it feels random. Also, chairs are attacking me now for some reason. But screw you, I'm a dragon. I'm an orange now. Fitting for the Halloween time. And... Sources say go to the far one. Take that starch pants. Uh, is this the boss or is this the end? This is... I hate this area so much because there's no idea where you're supposed to go and it doesn't really give you a good idea. Uh, back to human, that's okay. As long as I grab the health, I should be fine. Mm. Screw it! Nope. Go to this one. Also, if you couldn't tell, the music in this level is really annoying. Also, I just went right back to the beginning of the level. I hate this level so much. Uh, this one? I'm so confused. Like, this may be the level that breaks me. And it's sad because we only have two levels afterwards and then we're done with the game. It's this level of all things that's going to break me. Alright. All right, this is new. This is new, so we know we're on the right track. Forget what the boss of this level is, too. If I, if I remember right, he's a bit of a challenge? Uh, 
go to this door. All right, we're on the right track. There's new new doors. Screw you, Wall Wisp. Uh, this one. And then we're down here now. You know what? I think we've been through this door before. I don't want to go back into that. I want to go into this one. And of course, that sends me right face smack into a chair. If I can have a little bit of health, that would really go a long way, game. Nope. Alright. So it's just, yeah, you go down. Damn you, invincibility frames. Actually, no, what? I think I've been through that door before, so I say screw that and go into this one. I have no idea where I am. Uh, front door. Oh, big bunch of health. That's good. Nope. Uh, hey, Pants, can we talk about this? I'm sorry! Alright. We go through this one. Yes, we did. Oh, when in doubt, go to the far side. Alright, this seems a little bit new. Come on, table. Come on, table! I have no idea where the hell I am anymore. I swear to god, I'm just going in circles now. Like, this is like the part of the game where... I swear you need a guide to figure out the, these doors. And I don't want, like, this whole last part to be complaining and be just going around in circles. Like, if you want to look away, then by all means. But if I actually do get through here, then... I'm sorry that you had to go through this monotonous of this annoying-ass music. I, I, I'd even struggle to call this music. Alright, this time I'm gonna go to you. And take you out. I'm probably gonna get take. That's the. Yeah, that's the exit, and the boss is right above the exit. I need to know how to get to the boss! Alright, so we know Starch Pants down there is. That's the door to the exit. Now we just need to know how to get to above the exit and not get face smashed by a table. And I died by table. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed Monster Party. If you would like to see me continue this game at some point in the future, maybe make this into a special, like, Halloween series in and of itself, then please, by all means, leave it down in the comments. And if I do ever come back to this, I swear I will not be as tedious with the haunted house than I was right now. But, hey, if you like this and you like this little mini-series, then by all means, leave it in the comments, and I will see you all next time. Later!